This is an example that includes uh, many of the uh, techniques uh, for function minimization that we studied so far using kernel map. Uh, it's a BCD, which we studied in a previous video, to seven segment lib display decoder circuit. So the input will be the uh, decimal digit from zero to nine, and the output will be a display pattern in a, a seven segment lid display. You can see there are seven of them, seven segments, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. Also, there is a chip that, that uh, has this uh, seven segment lid display. And you can see it has five pins in the top, five pins in the bottom. And this is A, the, our seven segments, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G with power supply and control pins, three more. And uh, the uh, job of the BCD to seven segment LED display, if for example, you have the input digit or the decimal digits that you want to show in the lit display is zero, you should light up those six segments corresponding to A, B, C, D, E, and F. For example, seven, you should light up A, B, and C. So to do this circuit using the techniques that we studied, we have to generate the truth table. So the inputs will be in binary. You have four variables, A, B, C, D, and you generate this simply by 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, and so on, 0, 0, 1, 1, and so on. The B is 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, and so on. The A, you have eight zeros and the rest are ones. You can notice that you started only from zero to nine. The other six codes, they are, they will be considered don't cares. Now, for the lid or the segment A, this segment, for zero input, it should be lightened up because it should light up because it's a zero shape and this segment here is lit up. Similarly for the B, C, D, E, and F. This is why we have all of them once except G, it will be zero. If we take another example, for example, three, you would say that I need to light up those Let's, which corresponds to A, B, C, and D. This is why we have one, 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 one. And the E and F will be zero, zero. The G will be one. And so on, you can fill all the outputs. After you have the truth table filled, you can generate seven kernel maps for each one of these segments. So going back to the table, you will generate a kernel map for A, for B, for C, for D, up to G. Each one of them have a separate K map. For A, the generated kernel map is, as you can see here, we filled it based on what we have, what, what we had in the truth table. So going back quickly, you will have one, zero, one, one. So you fill it like this, one, zero, one, one. Going back again, zero, one, one, one. You fill it here, zero, one, one, one. 
and then you keep continuing. One, one, which is here, one, one. The rest of the n available codes, we, we will consider them to be don't care. And we will do this for all the segments. After that, you can use the selection rule that we studied and do the optimization for each one of those slits. For example, uh, if, if we take uh, uh, D, you can see that we can have those eight together. And this corresponds to A. We can have the uh, uh, this uh, purple one. You can see this with those two as B bar C. We can have the light blue one as C D bar. We also can have the corners which is the light green ones as V bar, D bar. And we will be left over with this one. We will include it with the don't care to generate B, C bar, D. If you fill all the kernel maps, you can see that there are some, some common terms. For example, the red one here is common between the A, D, F and the G. The, the light blue one is common between the D, E, and G. This will help us when we draw the logic diagram. After you get all the functions based on the uh, Carnot map uh, simplifications, now you can draw the logic diagram. Before we go there, you see the common uh, terms are shown in colors between the different segment functions. So for example, the light blue one, CD bar, is actually shown here in the D, in the E also and also in the G. Now we rewrite those function here and based on these functions we draw the block diagram. Well, so for A we have three or we have four terms and this is why we have four inputs or gate at the end. And each one of them is A. You can see that we got the A directly. And C, we got the C from here. And then we generate an AND for the BD. This is B and D. And another AND for the B bar, D bar. This is B bar and D bar. And you can see that because B bar, D bar is shared among uh, other uh, segment functions like D and E, it's also taking for the D and E, as you can see in the block diagram. Now, to make the block diagram looks nice, you should start by drawing the uh, inputs, which is A, B, C, and D, in their original form or normal form and on their complements for, as you can see here. Um, you'll have sometimes, uh, it's better for you to have multiple level, like for example, when we generated D, we already generated B, C bar here, and then we took the outputs and we included the D using another AND. So doing this, we, we could share the BC bar with other 
two functions like this one here in F and in G. And you can confirm for each function, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, the correct equation or the correct function is implemented using uh, primitive gates. Now this A, B, C, D, E, and F, and G is connected to the uh, LEDs to uh, uh, perform the B, C, D to seven segment LED display decoder circuit. To show some example, we will show uh, all the cases for all the numbers. So if we have zero, we will enter uh, a binary value zero 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 and it should light up like this if we input uh, one it will light up as you can see here if we input two it will light up like that if we input three it will light up as three in the display, and so on for four, five, six, seven, and eight, and then uh, if you input the number nine. 